Hello everyone, it is Tuesday, and I am going to talk about AP Euro because I think a lot about AP Euro. It's a hard class. Um, I, I'm glad that I took it, though, because it's really rewarding. But anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll talk about that some other day. But now, I'm going to talk about my favorite part of AP Euro. Alright? Like, I, I almost think that just this thing that I learned in AP Euro is just worth taking the whole thing, right? But, yeah, here we go. Once upon a time, in 1588... Philip II was the king of Sp er, yeah king of Spain, and he was Catholic, and this is important because uh, at the same time Queen Elizabeth I was ruling England, and she was very Protestant, and that's like the opposite of Catholic, especially back then, right? But yeah, so Philip was like, "Yo, Elizabeth, can I marry you?" And his plan was like to like take part of the control of England or something, uh, and Elizabeth was like, "Uh, uh." No way, I ain't never marrying you or nobody else. I am a strong, independent woman who don't need no royal consort. And that's true, she didn't actually marry anyone. But, yeah, back to the story. Philip II got mad. He's like, oh, I see how it is. So he gathers up his Spanish armada and he just sails to England. And he's like, fight me. So they fight. There's the British naval whatever, and then there's the Spanish armada. And then they go at it for a bit. And then, miraculously, a gust of wind hits. And the Spanish Armada is uh, very badly damaged, let's say. Uh, with uh, the w gust of wind and the British uh, naval forces working together, they basically wiped out the Spanish Armada. And you know what they call this gust of wind? They call it the Protestant wind. The Protestant wind. And I just love it so much that it's called the Protestant wind. Because maybe I'm just being immature or something, but it sounds like farts. <laughs> so that's always fun. But it gets better. Because exactly a hundred years later, in 1688, it's the centennial Protestant wind because there's a second Protestant wind. This is when William of Orange uh, is invading... England. He was invited to invade England because everybody hated James II because he was Catholic and then he had a Catholic son and they were like, oh my god, we don't want to be under Catholic rule forever. So, sorry, they invited William to invade. So he did and uh, there was a helpful gust of wind, the second Protestant wind, <laughs> that um, helped push him to his destination while simultaneously uh, keeping the British ships in the port. So yeah, that's how William of Orange uh, did the Glorious Revolution successfully with the help of the Second Protestant Wind. And uh, yeah, so it's a centennial Protestant Wind, and I know it's been a while, but we can resurrect this uh, situation by just, um, you know, planning one for 2088. We got a lot of planning time, yo. Let's go for it. So yeah, that's my favorite part of AP Euro, the Protestant Wind. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, Lacey, I'll see you tomorrow.